Crowd of E. One of the three runners for Barb Joseph and Paul Jones gets set. The second set of colours worn by Magic Scene here. Red with the yellow diamond armbands and a yellow cap. So Magic Scene gets close to the stalls and moves in. Media Vita coming up. Five to get set. Hemispheres into a dollar seventy-five now. We'll run a well-tried favourite for the first event. Trick Star out to two dollars eighty. That pair dominate the betting. Here's Mr. Snitzel coming up. And uh, thanks, Chantel. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, everyone. Absolute corker of a day weather-wise here at Canberra. The track has been upgraded to a good four. An expected top of around 34, 35 degrees. Here's the well-tried favourite hemispheres moving up to the gates into a dollar seventy-five now. Bumper crowd already here. Now Ju Porsche moves up and Trickstar will be the last. Sky Racing Maiden Plate to kick us off. Good four, rail out three metres. Stand by. Lights on. L dub the inside stall. And away, and Hemispheres left well out wide. Media Vita showing speed, and Trickstar out deeper will come across and burn across to the front with Hemispheres poking through in the centre. So the two favourites will settle down one, two inside the thousand. Two lengths away, third, Media Vita. Magic Scene is fourth, and next to the outside is Silky Mover, fifth, but wide. A length away, L Dub, who just had a steady off heels there. Then Krada V, Mr. Stitzel over racing, and Jude Porsche's last about five from the leader. Which is the favourite? Hemispheres leading by a neck. In second spot, the outside is Trick Star, a length and a half, Media Vita third. Fourth is Magic Scene, and then Silky Mover, Krada V. L Dub behind those, then Ju Porsche and Mr. Snitzel three deep at the corner, and last of all, home corner, 400 left to run. Hemispheres the leader by a neck to Trick Star, moving up on the outside. There's Little in it with Trick Star doing the better now. Media Vita into the clear, then followed Magic Scene, Silky Mover, Krada V. Hemispheres first beat. 150 to go. Trickstar got away from Media Vita. Then Magic Scene and Jude Porsche, but it's all Trickstar in the first. He's dashed away. Trickstar won it by two and three quarters. Media Vita second. Third, maybe Jude Porsche on the outside from either Magic Scene or Krada V. Then followed by the next one to clock in, Silky Mover. Hemispheres went down like a prick balloon inside the furlong pole. Mr. Stitzel and L Dub at the tail end. Trickstar. Number seven, Blake Shin for Peter Robel. Continues this outstanding run since uh, getting his trainer's licence, Peter. And who's to say that they can't combine to win the Canberra Cup with centre pivot a little bit later on. Sat outside Hemispheres, moved up quickly, took the lead around the corner when Hemispheres called it a day rather quickly and has come clear for quite an impressive win in the end. Seven trick star, 270 and a dollar and four will defeat five media Vita, Brendan Ward, Keith Dryden. And uh, that semaphore board is uh, obviously on the blink. So seven defeats five and stand by for the third result after race number one. Seven first trick star, a three year old cult by Exceed and Excel. Difference to this fellow today, mate. Yeah, they did, you know, and we got the result that we were hoping we'd get with them. Um, as I said, you know, I just thought he, you know, I just thought about the situation that's going the other day, so we put him on him. Um, very positive ride by Blake, which is, you know, with Blinkers the first time is what we were asking for. And look, it was just good to see him once he got clear and couldn't see any horses around him that he kept going forward. Yeah, he drove him to the line. And mate, look, I'll take you through the run. They seem to do a bit of work, those two, and it collapsed hemispheres, so it adds a fair bit of merit to this horse's win. Yeah, you know, we drew the outside gate, so we always knew that we were not going to get across outside the leader cheaply. So, as you say, he's done it both, both ends and done it well. And, um, you know, look, he's going to go forward from this point onwards, and hopefully, you know, we might, you know, we have a little plan to sneak him up to Brisbane during a winter carnival, so hopefully we're on our way now. Yeah. And it can really make them Peter trip up there, can't it? It can, you know, and this horse, he'll love it, mate. He's that laid back. Which, you know, it's probably been his downfall to, to a certain extent that, you know, he just doesn't care about anything, whether it's working or racing. So, 
the blinkers will switch him on. You know, this win will give him a lot of confidence. And, um, you know, as you say, trip to Brisbane will do him the world of good. All right, mate. Great start for you, and hopefully uh, good luck in the cup. Thanks, Johnny. There's Peter Robel. We'll have a quick chat to Blake Shin and get his thoughts. Uh, they really went forward there. Uh, Blakey, take us through that, mate. It's straightforward outside the leader. Yeah, he was straightforward. You know, he's... Um Peter elected to put the blinkers on him, especially after his last start. He's a colt, and um, we thought, why Barry? Just ride him aggressive, ride him like the best horse. And uh, James led. We thought he was the hardest to beat. Give us a good bunny to chase. And he's promised a bit of ability and um, just putting it together. And I like the way he put him away today. One like a horse going places. He did, didn't he? And like those blinkers have made a difference. You got him in just under 35, but he collapsed hemispheres. Um, adds a lot of merit to this horse. Yeah, that's right. Like I said, he's always possessed good ability. He ran a nice race first up behind Southern Legend. We took him to Scone, thought he'd, he'd break his maiden, but um, the blinkers were applied today, and that's that's a real trick star, and hopefully he can go on his winning way, winning way from here. Mate, great to see you here, and great to see you straight on the board, and good luck later on in the day. Thank you. There we go. Blake Shin gets trick star home for his mate Peter Roble, and it was pretty dominant as well. 7-5-8-3 was fourth. A favourite was a little bit disappointing there, Maxie.